Hello, grade four students. How are you today? <laughs> are you ready to study our class science? I want you to turn your book to pages 64 to 70. And then first we will review before we go into details of our lesson. I believe you did this one last time. This is only a review. Congratulations if you did it. All right. Okay. But for today, our lesson here is on 64 to 70. Okay. We'll be talking about roots and stamps. But then in here, we will see different kinds of roots. Roots are the part of the plant growing under the ground. They can be white, green, or beige in color. They help hold the plant to the ground. The role is to suck in water and minerals from soil and send them to other parts of the plant. This is only a review, right? We studied this before, a part of this, but now in detail. The roots of each plant are different and they can be grouped as follows. Grouped by features of roots. I want you to see the picture here. Look at that one, right? So if you want to see and group the plants by, by features of roots, you see there that it goes down, right? So in here you see a fibrous kind of root fibrous roots are groups of small roots right they are about the same size they are found right here right here they are found in monocot plants example rice and sugar cane now we have a lateral root kind of plant or lateral roots are branches of roots that grow from the top root and then we have a taproot. A taproot is the main root of the plant that grows straight down deep into the soil. This root is wide at the top and then gets smaller at its end. It is found in dicot plants. Uh, example, tomatoes and chilies. All right, so we have a taproot, we have lateral roots, we have Fibrous roots, three kinds, right? Okay, so now let us go further. You can also group plants by where the roots grow from. Okay, you can see the roots grow from where? It's, is it from the soil or where? So in here, roots in the primary root and secondary root grow from seeds. Okay? of both monocots, monosingle, dicot means two, cotyledon, right? They are top roots, lateral roots, and fibrous roots, okay? Look at that. Like coriander, lettuce, all right? Now, roots in adventitious root grow from any part of a plant, okay? It's different from the other kind. Example, morning glory roots grow from its nodes. Screw pine roots grow from its stem, close to the ground. Look at the picture. And bryophyllum roots grow from its leaves. Now you can see here, bryophyllum and water mimosa. <laughs> now look at that. This is a science fact that we need to understand. Root vegetables. Now you see in the picture, are plants that store food and nutrients like starch, sugars, or proteins in their roots. So carrots and yam beans are root vegetables from top roots, while sweet potatoes and finger roots are root vegetables from lateral roots. Remember, lateral roots and top roots. Okay. I want you to remember that you can also group plants by the special roots, rows of roots, okay? Example, aerial roots, like air, you know, like outside here. Aerial roots are roots that grow from nodes and hang in the air. That's why it's called aerial roots. It's from the air, hang in the air. 
These roots can go through photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? It's the process of converting the light into energy by the plants, right? The green coloring pigment of the plants. Example, banyan trees and orchids. Look at that, right? You see that? They have these aerial roots. And again, as you can see here, clasping roots are roots that grow from nodes. These roots can hold on to other plants or things to support. <laughs> right? They are orchids, devil's ivy, parasitic plants, etc. Parasitic, like dependent on other plants to grow. Look at that here. And so we have prop roots also, right? Let's go to the next one here. The prop roots are roots that grow straight into the soil from the side of the stem or branches close to the ground. They help support the plants so they do not fall down. Okay, example mangroves, screw pines, and desert roses. Look at their kind of roots right here. Here, 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 here. You see that one? Prop roots. And you can also see here storage roots. Okay, storage root here like carrots, all right? Storage roots are that store food, are roots that store food and nutrients like starch, sugar, or protein inside, making the roots grow and swell. They are yam, beans, lettuces, finger roots, tapioca, etc. All right? I think you've learned a lot about this, right? Now we need to understand here, the stem is a part of a plant that supports its branches, okay? Leaves, flowers, and fruits. Its role is to what? Its role is to send water, minerals, and food to the other parts of the plant. From the roots, the plant carries water and minerals through its stem to its branches and leaves for photosynthesis. The leaves then send the food gained from photosynthesis back to the other parts of the plant. Water, minerals, and food are carried through small tubes inside the stem. Now, these, these tubes are called what? Vascular bundles, which are made up of the xylem and phloem. Now we will talk about the xylem and phloem here. What, what is xylem? We, we studied that before in the classroom. Xylem is a set of long tubes linking roots, stem, branches, and leaves together. Its role is to transport water and minerals from the roots to the leaves for photosynthesis. Look at the picture here. The red part here, the xylem, right? The phloem, you see the, did you see this one, this uh, blue color? The phloem is also a set of long tubes pairing up with the xylem. Its role is to send food made in the leaves by photosynthesis back to the other parts of the plant. So it's like this, xylem, water going up, and phloem, food going down. Xylem, phloem, xylem, phloem. Rememorize that one. Xylem, phloem, xylem, water, phloem, food. <laughs> so look at that stem of a monocot right here. Let's talk about that stem of monocot right here. The stem of a monocot, remember the monocot, monocotyledon? Look at that one. The xylem and phloem here, as you can see. All right? How do they differ? Okay, the xylem, the phloem, and the xylem. How about the stem of a dicot or dicotyledon? It's different, right? So just look at the shape or the arrangement of the xylem and phloem. You can tell whether the plant is a dicot or a monocot. The, the phloem is there. Xylem phloem, all right? Xylem phloem. Okay, so the, the dicot is bigger and looks more <laughs> handsome kind of a phloem and xylem. So this is an example of a cross sections of stems showing the xylem and phloem. All right. So the stem of each type of plant is different, as you can see, right? If we use the positions, okay, 
of stems as a rule. There are two types, above ground stems and underground stems. The above ground stems can be put into three smaller groups by their features and sizes as follows, like trees, shrubs, and herbs. The, the trees, like rose apple trees, banyan trees, teak, etc. Shrubs, like orange, jasmines, exora plants, uh, horse, tamarinds, etc. The herbs, like mar mar marigolds, like sugar cane, Chinese morning glory, etc. Okay, three smaller groups by their features and sizes of the above ground stems. Okay, now example here, like plants with above ground stems, you can see pumpkin, coconut, bamboo, and tamarind. All right, okay, look at the roots. All right. And then, we have the underground stems, number two, are always misunderstood. Why? As being the main roots of plants, because there are lateral roots, okay, the side ones, growing out from them. Like plants with underground stems are ginger, finger roots, okay, finger roots, potatoes, Canas, bananas, garlics, shallots, taros, water chestnuts, and turmeric. Look at the examples right here. Plants with underground stems. We have potato, shallot, uh, finger root, and we have garlic and taro. Look at how they grow. They have this underground <laughs> kind of plants. They store this food down, right? Outside, you don't see them, but underground, you see, oh, they're there having a crop growing something that you can use for food. Okay, I wanted to answer the exercise here. Exercise one, this is page 70, right, of your book. Now, look at the pictures. Answer the questions. Plant A, you see the lateral kinds of roots in there, right? And plant B, we have the fibrous kind, right? What are the differences between the roots in pictures A and B? I want you to review the lesson so you will master it. Are the roles of these roots the same or different? Okay, how? And then I want you to read the questions below right here, right? What is the question? After Andrew left a stalk of celery in a cup of red colored water for one day, what happened? He found that there were red spots on its roots and stems. So the question is, what can we learn from this experiment? We did the experiment already, right? So you can answer this easily. Number two, what parts of the celery does the red colored water go through? And why? Okay, you review there the solemn and the phloem. All right, that's for today. See you next time. Bye-bye. Remember, pose your answers down.